Hi everyone, and welcome back to a brand new video. Hello! So, apologies, I think you can hear the washing in the background. It's just a day realized. in the life, washing day machine day. is on. So we have a rare day off together, which is nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, sometimes our days off like don't align. But yeah. We have this week. Unless we've booked holiday. Unless we've booked holiday <laughs> together. Um, but yeah, we have a day off today. We've got a pretty jam packed day. It has turned into that because we've already got the one day uh, together. We just want to get a lot of stuff crammed in. So it's going to yeah. be a busy one. So we're planning on uh, nipping to Windsor. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't been to Windsor in a while as well. Be I'm nice. going to go and get my hair cut because we've got a wedding that we're going to next week. Next week. I'm going to have, I do have a dress to wear, but I am going to have a little look around. And if there is another dress that catches my eye, I might um, get it. But I'm not too stressed because I know I definitely have something to wear. If I don't see something. Yeah. You're having a peruse. Just having a little look. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh, I'm very excited. We're going to go see uh, the new film, Elvis. Elvis. If you didn't know, I'm a massive fan <laughs> of Elvis Presley. Uh, and I'll be thinking of my grandparents a lot today because uh, they, they got me into it on a Saturday. I used to go around uh, and we used to watch whatever Elvis DVD or Aww. VHS I could take over. Uh, and I used to imitate him by the side of the sofa. And my grandparents are the only people who will ever see that. Who ever saw that. <laughs> Unless there's and I could tape. There's no tape. This. Definitely <laughs> not. <laughs> but yeah, we're excited to see it. I think it's got pretty good reviews. It was quite a long film. I think it's about two hours 40. Oh, yeah, there's a lot to cram in. Yeah, so we're going to go see it in the afternoon. And then we should still have a little bit of an evening. Yes. Um, that we can just chill out together. We, we mm. have had an exciting delivery. Oh, yes. I'll show you. Have you got it there? <laughs> so we were very kindly gifted this from Diamond Art Club. Do what makes you sparkle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it is a diamond painting. So it's kind of like a paint by numbers, yeah. but using diamonds. Using that And uh, we have a like a Disney inspired yes. um, piece. It's Alice, Alice in Wonderland. Wonderland. But we're excited to give it a go. We think it'll be quite nice to do this evening. Mm -hmm. um, and just kind of have have a little go. It's meant to be quite relaxing. And yeah, I know that um, some people have messaged me before saying that they enjoy diamond painting. Yeah, it's meant to be quite like relaxing and... Should I have a little look? Uh, I'd maybe open it up later. It's just we've got tons on the table at the moment. Okay. We'll, we'll do a bit, we'll do the unboxing later. We'll do a little bit of an unboxing <laughs> later on in the blog and show you. Yeah, when and we're gonna start it. Yeah. But yeah, thanks so much Diamond Art Club for sending that. We'll pop the link um, to their website in the description box so you yes. can check it out if you're interested. Yeah, we'll talk a bit more about that later on. Yeah. But now we're going to answer some emails. I know, we've had a few like <laughs> exciting emails come through. Um, so we're going to be um, answering them together because we like to do it together because obviously yeah. the channel is both of us. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that now. So we're in Windsor. Yay! We've travelled over and um, we actually parked in front of our old flat. <laughs> Yeah. All the memories, <laughs> um, all the lockdown memories. They come flooding back. Uh, but we love Windsor. I'm really excited to be here today, actually. It's nice and warm, actually. Yeah, it's really hot. I've got this kind of good number and take it off. Yeah, I might leave my jacket. Um, we're gonna, well, you're gonna go for a haircut. I'll catch up with you afterwards. Uh, because Martin has his favourite barbers here. I know. So we always have to come back for I him know. to get his haircut. Even though we have to travel, I still, <laughs> I still can't let it go. Um, but I'm gonna have a little look around the shops and then I'll meet you afterwards. Then probably yes. go for some food and then mm -hmm. we're gonna head to the cinema for three ish. 40, I think it's yeah. that. Well, that's when the advert starts. Yeah, it's such a treat to go to the cinema during the day. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's head into Windsor. I said that my grandparents would be on my mind today and how weird, we're inside Honest Burger and this glass here for my drink, I used to uh, drink out of the same sort of glass every time I used to go to my grandma and granddad's and it was one of these. That's so strange. <laughs> used to have lilt in it. <laughs> and I went for the low alcohol beer. Also, 
Martin's looking handsome, isn't he? <laughs> Turn oh, to the thanks. side, show it off. Oh. Look at that. Thank Fresh you. trim. They always, they always do it, <laughs> it does look really good. <laughs> I've gone for the Windsor burger with rosemary chips, and Helena has got the honest, honest burger. So we've just uh, driven to the cinema, parked up. Honest burger was so good. Were you a fan? I was a fan. It was nice and soft. It was. The chips were really nice. They were different. Rosemary. Rosemary chips. <laughs> so I'd had Honest Burger before, but Martin has never had it. And whenever we pass one, I'm always like, I know that you're going to really love it. And then this is the first time we actually went together. And yeah, I'm There's glad. So many good I'm glad places. you liked it. So many good places in Windsor to eat. Mm, so a Franco Manco is opening, which is sourdough pizza, and a Five Guys. <gasps> Both amazing places, but I mean, there's so many other like independent restaurants. Uh, they've just opened the Ivy, which if you want more of like a posh restaurant or somewhere for brunch, um, there's just so many good places to eat. Yep. But we're here at the cinema. We've come to the Odeon Lux. It's our favourite one because you can recline your seats. <laughs> we can go on together. Are you excited? With suspicious mind. <laughs> We're really looking forward to it. Um, yeah, so we're gonna head in. I think we're quite early, so we can probably take it quite chill. Yeah. And then, yeah, we'll let you know what we think after. So we just got back home, put on a cozy little jumper to be cozy in, but it was so good. Martin's itching to, uh, let you know what he thought. Oh. <laughs> uh, it, it, oh. <laughs> Phenomenal. Phenomenal. It was really, really good. Uh, Great film. The detail that went into it, the, the performances I thought were incredible. We think he's going to definitely win the Oscar. Well, I mean, it was very good. Should have some recognition, I think. Um, yeah, I, I, I loved it. As an Elvis fan as well, like you are probably one of the toughest critics because like I guess Elvis fans are like the toughest critics. I am, yeah. I mean, well like I've watched a few things that have been fictionalised mm. versions of, of Elvis's careers and some things are better than others. Yeah. <laughs> but um, this was definitely top. Uh, you could tell that you know a lot of love had gone into it. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I, I can't wait to watch it again at some point. It's one of those films that even though it'll go on a streaming service, I think I still need the Blu-ray. Well, you need all the special features. What was it earlier? You were like, oh, it doesn't have special features. Yeah, I love Marvel special film. Yeah, it was the um, Marvel multiverse. Yeah. The Doctor Strange one. There isn't anything on it at the moment. But um, it'll have to go in my Elvis collection of DVDs and Blu-rays. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's up there with... Um, with Walk the Line yeah. for me, because Walk the Line is one of my favourites. Yeah, I really like that. I really like the Elton John and also the Queen biopics as well. Mm. I like them both too. But yeah, no, I was, I was really, really, really um, impressed. I thought it was really, really good. Better if, than I thought it was going to be. Not that I thought it would be bad, but it was like, even exceeded my expectations. It, you know, it's a hefty topic to take on <laughs> and i think if, if you like baz luhrmann films yeah. as well you'll love it because it's it's definitely a, a baz luhrmann film like as soon as it started i was like <laughs> it was it's definitely like got elements of moulin rouge elements of romeo and juliet and all those kind of films You're like the way it's world. filmed mm. yeah oh yeah I, I loved it but we're back home we're still quite full from honest burger aren't we it's about seven o'clock well but... we went we went straight from there to the cinema yeah uh, yeah, and then we uh, well we had some we had a drink in the cinema, but we didn't mm, have any food. Didn't have any but food. It's not we been that long. Snacks. Yeah, no, I guess. So we think we might just have maybe like beans on toast or something. We do have um, some gusto meals, but we think we're just gonna stick to maybe beans on toast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna uh, jump on the bike in a minute. Yeah. After we show. Yes, we wanted to unbox the diamond painting because we didn't have time before we we left. Um, so we're gonna unbox it now and we'll, we'll show you what's inside. So Martin is just making a cup of tea, but I thought I would start unboxing the package. We might actually start it tonight. It might be quite a nice little activity. Fancy. I was just gonna say, if you're a fan of Elvis, and you like Elvis songs, what's your favourite song? What's yours? 
Oh, my grandma's was um was a song they used to do in like the later shows called "You Gave Me a Mountain," which is mm -hmm. like a big uh, ballad thing. Oh, I think my mom's is "Wonder of You." What I like "Wonder of You." I like um "You Were Always on My Mind." Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, that's hard to choose. And I like just... I like can you can't have falling in love. It's hard to just choose one. You'll have to, I'll 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 have a think. <laughs> I might have to pick one in different eras. Yeah. <laughs> Don't cry, Daddy. Have you heard that song? No. That's, I, that's... I, I only know the famous ones to be honest. That's from later on. Right, we've got. Ooh, Ooh so Ooh. <laughs> it's uh Ooh, it is the Alice puzzle. I don't know if you see that. That's what it should look like once we've finished it. As all as, as I don't all. know how long it's going to take for us to complete. The Azzle puzzle, that's what I was going to say, the Alice puzzle. But the kit contents, premium velvet tarpaulin canvas, colour-coded resin diamonds, magic diamond applicator, two wax pads, craft tray, inventory sheet. I think we actually as well, did we get, I think they said they've included uh, another toolkit. So that we can do it oh, together. They have. Nice. So there you we can go. Both. I'm not sure how much space we need. Might have to clear. <laughs> You're gonna have to open it because I've been playing the guitar and my fingers hurt. <laughs> what happens I think with the so. strings? <laughs> okay. So that is the toolkit. Yeah. So that's like the same as. Oh, this is really cool. I think that's everything. So you have peel the sticker. Use it to organise your stash kits, place it in your logbook or anywhere you like. So that's basically just a sticker of the puzzle. Oh, is that so that's what you know what it's supposed to be. Yeah. And then in here. Oh gosh, got quite a lot. Oh, might it might space. be big, yeah. Oh yes. Oh step by step instructions, that's good. Oh, this is cute. Alice puzzle. Start date and end date. Oh yeah, that's cute. So you can like keep track of it. And then these, I'm guessing, are all the diamonds. Diamonds are a girl's best, best friend. friend. <laughs> so these are all the diamonds. Oh, I feel like this is gonna take me a while. Wow. So like, look, there's so many. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna. Have to, oh my god! We need, we need the whole table. Yeah, right. We'll be back in a second. <laughs> need to clear the whole table. All right. So we have rolled it out. <laughs> it looks incredible. I wonder how long it's gonna take. We're gonna have to do this thing where we put start date and end date. I'm curious. Which is quite good for it being Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. I'm curious. <laughs> so. If you look closely, I think Helena's got the instructions, so we'll look at them in a second. But like, so every square has a symbol or a letter. So here you've got A. So what you would do is you would look over at your list here. So it's A. So it would be bag eight three four mm -hmm. for the all the A's. There you go. So it would be that bag there eight three four. Those. Diamonds would go anywhere you see A. So we just watched a video actually. It was um, diamondartclub.com slash instructions and that yeah. was really helpful. Really helpful. Because you could visually see what yeah. you're meant to do. And also it told us that you need to keep, because there's an adhesive uh, film on top, so we need to keep that on yeah. when we're not doing stuff. So you want to like start at the corner. We're yeah. both going to start at a corner and then go to the middle. Yes. But yeah. So you have a little uh, tray. Tray. So we're gonna pour the diamonds out onto the tray. Oh, so yeah. So we're gonna start basically just like the black section. Which, if we look on our chart, is three ten. Three ten. Right. So we've got our diamonds inside the tray. So we should have the pointy side up, so that oh, then we the can flat side up. No. Uh, I think it's the pointy side because then you're going to pick it up with the applicator and then you're going to put it down here so that the flat bit's on the bottom. So you've got your... Wax. Wax. So I'm thinking I dip it into the wax. And then... I... 
pick up one. Which side? That's the right way up, so it needs to be like the pointy bits. Pointy bit. Yeah. Yeah, so we've got that. And now, now. Oh gosh. This is the first one. Touchdown. Woo! I did that quite well actually. <laughs> you only get one one shot. <laughs> I'm sure you can peel it off. Blow. <laughs> um but yeah, that was pretty that's easy actually. Yay. That's quite relaxing. <laughs> So we did our first just started. few. It's going well. <laughs> and then I did a couple down on this it is side. It's nice and relaxing. I could imagine that with like a film on or just some music. Yeah. Just, it's very relaxing. It's definitely along the same vibes of like knitting or um, cross stitch or paint by numbers. Mm. Or um, I used to have that thing which was like, What's it called where you go number to number? Dot to dot. Dot to dot. Mm. Kind of like that. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited to see it all complete. Yeah, we'll, we'll try and keep you updated in the day in the life vlogs. I mean, I feel like it might take us a little while. <laughs> it's a bit bigger than I um, anticipated. Um, it's a cracking size, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a really good size. And then they say that like, at the end you can... Frame it. You can mount it. Mount it. Yeah. Show it off. So they have very kindly um, given us a 20% discount code too. So if yes. you'd like to get your first painting, if you use the code so Helena Martin, I'll pop it on the screen here, yeah. and then that will get you 20% off, which is a very good deal. They have some amazing designs. Yeah, uh, really. They've got an amazing Harry Potter one. Yeah. <laughs> which, if we manage to complete this, then that might be next on the list because <laughs> that was incredible. I really, really love that one. They've got mm. some other Alice in Wonderland ones um, and they have like a wide variety of, you know, other um, like topics as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, definitely check it out and yeah, use our discount code if you're going to make a purchase because that will get you 20% off. Mm. But thank you so much Diamond Dark Club for sending us this. It's going to be a nice little product for us both. Project. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to be cracking on with it. I think just it's going to be one of those things where I'm like, if I have a spare five minutes yeah. as well, like during the day, maybe from break from work, quickly like, yeah, come just, down just and do to it. like have a breather, focus on something that isn't a screen. Yes, I think that's a big important. thing these days, yeah. and I'm so guilty for that because. I'll sometimes relax, but relaxing is using my iPad, <laughs> yeah. using my iPhone. Um, so yeah, it is nice to have something to do that's not on, on a screen. Put our uh, LP, our record player oh, on. Oh yeah, we could. Proper old school. <laughs> right, I'm just about to go on the bike. <laughs> Next to us, dog is just sat staring at me. <laughs> so our fence is blown down. It blew down quite a few months ago. Uh, <laughs> We're hopefully, fingers crossed, getting it fixed in the next couple of weeks. But yeah, the dog has been very good though, and not coming over. <laughs> he always just comes and says hi. But yeah, he's so sweet. He's just stood staring at me. No, oh. Oh, bless him. <laughs> he's a fluffy one. Uh, yeah, I'm going out on the bike, but I just realised that I didn't say what my favourite Elvis song was, and I, 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 I really, oh, <laughs> one, one that I listen to a lot. It's from like later on. Is uh, he did a, a cover of "Let It Be Me," which is which is very good. Oh, I don't know though. Is that my favourite? Is that my favourite? I'm gonna go with <laughs> <laughs> "If I Can Dream" from the end of the comeback special. So it's now the next morning. I've just been having a pretty chilled morning. I slept in till about nine and then I got up, watched some YouTube, had some breakfast and then I started to get ready for the day. I'm heading into London. Uh, Martin's working today, unfortunately, so he can't join us. Um, but I'm meeting my mum and we're going to see Anything Goes at the Barbican, which I'm so excited. Um, I don't think I have ever seen Anything Goes and I don't think I've ever been to the Barbican Theatre as well. And um, so that's going to be a whole new experience. Um, if you've watched our latest Day in the Life vlogs, I went to see um, any, not anything goes, um, 
my fair lady at the London Coliseum and I loved it. I love seeing something quite traditional and I'd never been to the London Coliseum as well. So I feel like I've been very lucky this past few weeks and I've managed to see um, not only some new shows but also some new theatres. Um, so yeah, very exciting. So I'm about to head into town. I'm gonna meet mum at the Barbican and then I think we're probably gonna grab some food there because um, I read that it has like a cafe and some restaurants. And then yeah, we'll watch the show. But I thought I would take you along, carry on the vlog a little bit today and yeah, let you know what we think of Anything Goes. Sorry I didn't film too much, um, I think I just did a little bit of a, a musical montage um, but it was an amazing, amazing show, I loved it from start to finish, it was so entertaining, the cast were great and it was just really fun and it was nice to see like an old school musical where it's just silly and funny and yeah I would highly recommend it. Let me know if you saw Sutton Foster um, because she was in it. Um, when it first came over here, uh, which is pretty cool. So let me know if you saw that production, uh, but Kerry Ellis was amazing. And yeah, I just really, really loved it. Um, it was just a really good time. <laughs> um, it was nice to see something at the Barbican as well, because I haven't, um, I'm pretty sure I haven't seen anything there. I didn't really recognize the theater when I went in. Um, it's quite like a distinctive looking theatre and um, the actual Barbican Centre is huge, there's just so much to do there. Um, so yeah, I, I definitely would consider going back and seeing something else there um, because it was, it was nice, it was cool. Um, but yeah, also very random small world um, but I met a subscriber at Waterloo Station and um, you said that your friend and your auntie were in the show. I think I got that right. Um, but that is so crazy, like such a small world. Um, so if you're watching this, thank you so much for saying hi. And yeah, let your friend and auntie know that I loved it. <laughs> um, they were both amazing. And yeah, the whole show was so good. Uh, but yeah, I thought that was like a really weird coincidence um, that I met you and then you knew people in the show that I'd just seen. It's a crazy small world sometimes. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna leave this vlog here. Thanks so much for watching. Definitely check out the link to the diamond art painting. I'll pop the website in the description box if you fancy having a look at that. But yeah, we will see you in our next video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you soon. Bye. I'll be your light.